And as two popes became saints on Sunday at the Vatican, there is one beloved priest from here in Metro Detroit who many people believe deserves to be named a saint as well. Yeah, Father Solanus Casey. He was known as a man who could help heal the sick, but the road to his sainthood has had some roadblocks. Our Roger Weber joins us live now from Detroit's east side with more on the case for Casey. Roger? Hey, Roger. <laughs> Well, Father Solanus Casey was born in 1870. He had lots of trouble with those tough seminary classes and wasn't given the same power as other priests, but people say he had the power to work miracles. Visitors to the Solanus Casey Center write petitions, place them on his tomb, and pray. They come with their burdens, with their petitions, with their illnesses. Sally McEwen is hospitality coordinator. This is one of 10 journals that Father Solanus kept. She says a history of healing is attributed to the Capuchin priest who died in 1957. His influence in people's lives even to this day is huge. Cancer patient Mike Apolko of Milford often visits the center and always carries a Solanus Casey medallion. Just in fact today I had my four-year checkup at Carmano's and everything was good so I'm real happy about that. I'll take every day I can get. Admirers of the humble priest point to many miracles, but getting the Catholic Church to agree is not easy. It has to be rather instantaneous that it is you had it one day and you don't have it the next. And a panel of doctors must rule out a scientific explanation. Casey was declared venerable in 1995, the first American man to have that distinction. But in all the categories of those virtues, his, were, his was overwhelming. But recognized miracles will be needed for him to be beatified and eventually canonized. His believers have worked a half century to make that come true, the road for the newest saints was far shorter, but that's okay with McEwen. Like Father Solanus, in his example, we trust God. We know it's going to happen. It's just a matter of when God's timing is. So they haven't been able to win the uh, case so far, but they believe that miracles keep happening here through uh, Father Solanus Casey, and they'll have plenty of material to keep sending to the Vatican. Reporting live in Detroit, I'm Roger Weber, Local 4.